yo 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 what's up everybody silky creamy in the house so glad you guys are here welcome in welcome back if you're new my name is silky creamy and i do niche review videos for shaving products and also for um other skincare products if you're returning i appreciate you so much thanks for coming back it means the world to me um uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos and these reviews um i've been having fun making these and uh this particular company we are reviewing today is a major part of that. Um, there are two companies that I consider the best um, so far um, and offer a wide variety of scents. Um, and I say the best just because there's so much variety. There's some really good products out there that people who know me, um, I have, I'm have. i a big fan of so many different brands of artisans. Um, but this is one of them and this is one of the main ones um, because of the amount of selection and amount of products they have and also the quality um the scents in these are just every single scent all 60 of them <laughs> actually there's more than 60 um, but i have 60 sets um of these scents um have all unique character and they all have their own personality and their own um, story and their own, you know, just beauty. And so today, no other, we're doing classical bay rum. And bay rum, as you know, a very popular scent for men. Um, it is widely done across many different artisans, many different manufacturers. Everyone makes their own take and everyone has their own spin and, um, Bay is a very um, rough and very, um, I would say, uh, it has jagged edges, right? It can really, really affect people with sensitive skin. It can really um, make or break a scent. And I think that, you know, Douglas with PAA, um, because he loves the scent so much, he has put out, in my opinion, the best bay rum scents out there now i don't know um i'm filming this and he has another one called atomic age bay rum um which i think is his best bay rum and i don't know if i posted it yet on youtube i don't know i'm going to try and remember to post um this one first uh because he made this particular one first before he made atomic age bay rum I think um, this, we'll start off with this one first, um, just because this is better than any Bay Rum from any company that I've tried. Um, and I'm not knocking any other company, it's just that I, this is the best I've tried. Um, I've tried Bay Rums from other companies and they're good, but they're not great. Um, and the uh, PAA's um, Bay Rum is just better. It's just a simply better and just simply sexier. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. But anyway, let's get cracking. So this is the label. So this is one of the nicer labels. It's got some really fine detail on this. We'll start from the top. Yeah, there's the logo. In the distance, you have like that old, um, the guy with the wings and the old uh, bicycle, that um, foot pedal powered wing uh, airplane. Um, man, I don't even know what you call that. I know there's a name for it, but I don't know what it is. But very cool. You've got the Kraken, right? You've got the octopus that is well known for bay rum right that you see in every label for bay rum whether it be alcohol or um soaps so you've got the space helmet which has to do with obviously the theme that he has a sci-fi but he has the octopus right so you got the hand that's holding onto the helmet keeping the helmet on you got all these for different flowers, so I think that's the notes that are in here. It says made with essential oils. And then in the background, you've got the cube, right? That always makes it into most of the labels, which is again, these are the small details that make PAA just a step above most. 
just really, really great, great um, work. Classical Bay Rum. Nice label. Just really nice artwork, as you can see. It's really, really well done. And as always, a standard CK6 tub. CK6 is a vegan based with a host of butters um, that make this a very thirsty yet luxurious base. Oh, well, this has got some color. This has got some color in here. Nice. It's almost like pink flesh. This almost has like a wet um, look to it, but it's not wet, obviously. Really nice um, canyon on this one. Nice peaks. Again, this is the, done by the hot process of making the soap. Really luxurious, really nice. Nice ribbons. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow. This is a really nice top. It just looks very moist. All right, let's do our first scent. First smell. Oh, this is so strong. Yeah, this is like a, I would say a eight. Uh, what you come to expect from, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Just a really, really beautiful Bay Rum. This is very strong. Very, very nice. Oh, it smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and read. All right, our very own unique Bay Rum blend of 10 essential oils and zero clove. He puts that in bold. First off, I think my Bay Rum is the best out there. Of course, you expect me to say this, but listen, I am a Bay Rum guy. When most guys were sporting Dracar and Polo, I was rocking Bay Rum. In fact, it was the lack of a good Bay Rum soaps out there that inspired me to create my own shave soap back in the day. That said, I consider myself a Bay Rum connoisseur. Fun fact, classical Bay Rum is very first scent I created for reasons mentioned above. The desire and passion came first. The business was a total afterthought. And the rest, as they say, is shaving history. Most quote unquote Bay Rums out there are made with fragrance oil. And while that's fine, I find that it can be rather limiting and trite. I mean, if everyone is using the same synthetic Bay Rum fragrance oil, what's the point? Where is the unique character from brand to brand? Where is the tradition? With that in mind, I chose a long time ago to build mine from the ground up by blending high quality essential oils. I know you will immediately recognize the difference in scent quality. Shave on, I agree. Um, as with any Bay Rum scent, this may be irritating to sensitive skin or those sensitive to spice oils. Proceed with caution. Finesse Artisan Accoutrement Shaving Soap is handmade, hot process, vegan shaving soap produced in small batches. We took the time developing this special soap to perform great and produce a thick, rich lather that will make your shave a true pleasure. The rest is up to you. Enjoy this very special, long-lasting soap puck. We thank you for giving us a shot and would love to hear what you think. Happy shaving. Again, there is zero clove oil in our Bay Rum products. Wow. Yep. This stuff is good. It is like no other Bay Rum. It's like home cooking, right? When you made food from scratch, using natural ingredients and you make it yourself, it always tastes better than with like preservatives and other things like that. First off, aftershave, look at the color guys. Look at the color. Again, every aftershave has a different color and it kind of like aligns with the scent. Just, you know, these are the small details that just blow my mind every time. No orifice reducer guys, I love it. Oh, man.
man this stuff is again this is a very strong scent um spicy spice spice this smells exactly like the soap no difference absolute masterpiece um again this is his first bay rum scent atomic h bay rum is a separate iteration i invite you to watch that video if it's not posted already um if it's not in my playlist um take a look at it when i when i launch it um because it is um atomic h bay rum is you need to see that one so anyway because that one's special that one's got some other things to it um but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, take care of one another out there. Be positive. We all could die tomorrow, right? We could have a stroke, we could have a heart attack, we could be in a car accident, something. We could have an aneurysm and we're gone. Let's help make each other's lives better. Let's live today. Let's enjoy today, right? Let's enjoy, as, let's have as much positive days as we can. Not every day is going to be positive, but we can try and make every day a positive. More likely than not, we will have a positive day if we do that. Smiling counts. Smiling matters. As always, glad you guys are here. Peace and aloha.